Hi everybody, my name's Alicia. And I'm Anna. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Swami's Kitchen. The recipe that we have for you today is called bhajia. What is bhajia? So bhajia is a dish native to India, but my family is from the islands of Fiji. About 150 years ago, Indians traveled to Fiji in search of a better life, and with them they brought their cuisine. And one of the dishes they brought with them is bhajia. And bhajia was cooked during special ceremonies or weddings. You guys like to party, huh? A I've been bit. to a Fijian wedding. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. A tad bit, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, with all Fijian dishes, like bhajia, there's a tad bit of spice. Are you kidding me? There's so much spice in this dish, you're going to love it. So basically, when I tried it, I thought of a pakora. That's immediately what came to mind. But the flavors were so unique. And what we have in this today, there's a little bit of curry leaf. There's some chilies, there's garlic, there's Fijian masala, which I thought was very sexy. And so what this is, is a punch of flavor in your mouth. And I look forward to making this for you today. And we are so excited to begin our series of videos. And um, yeah, let's get cooking. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's get to it. All right, folks. Now let's get into the ingredients. The spice mixture, salt, cumin powder, Fijian masala, red chili powder, and turmeric. We have cilantro, Thai chilies, canola oil, chickpea flour, a potato, garlic cloves, onion, curry leaves, and spinach. Now let's get to the prep work. Now that all the ingredients are prepped and ready to go, we're going to add one and one fourth cup of chickpea flour or basin, four Thai chilies and four curry leaves, one half of a hen of onion and four cloves of garlic. One grated potato. Half of a head of wilted spinach, one half of a head of cilantro. Time to kick it up a notch. We're going to add red chili powder, some cumin and Fijian masala, a touch of salt, and some beautiful turmeric. Then we're going to mix it together until it forms a thick batter. Now we're ready to fry. Look at that golden brown goodness. 